Hey guys, Gamer Zach here, and welcome to my top 10 PC adventure games to watch in 2015. Now, adventure games are all about an immersive universe and engaging characters, and this year there are some intriguing developments with some old favorites coming back. It's time you pack up and head on out to keep an eye on these new stories. First up, we've got Siberia 3 by Benoit Sokal. It's been 10 years since the last Siberia game, and the original designer is back with a new one. We begin right where we left off. Kate the lawyer is in a bad situation in this fantastically frozen steampunk environment. Uncover mysteries and solve puzzles in this epic return to the series. Then we have King's Quest by The Odd Gentleman. Activision has decided to revive Sierra and along comes a new King's Quest, the ninth to be exact. King's Quest promises awe-inspiring art, engaging puzzles and a wondrous interactive narrative brimming with humor. The curious thing about this one though is that it won't just be a point and click game. How will they make that work? We'll have to wait and see. Next, we have Ghost of a Tale by Seath CG. In this third-person adventure, you follow the story of Tilo, a tiny minstrel mouse making its way through a mysterious and beautiful medieval world. Prepare for exploration, fighting monsters, reading journals, discovering secrets, and, if you couldn't guess, ghosts and undead. This is a title that could easily be missed, but the stunning aesthetic can immediately draw you in. Let's keep an eye on this one if it plays as good as it looks. And then we've got Beyond Eyes by Tiger and Squid. Here we have a game where you play Rei, a 10-year-old girl venturing out into the big world in search of a fat cat named Nani. Rei, however, isn't like most other girls. She lost her eyesight in a fireworks accident when she was younger, leaving her traumatized, fearing loud noises and public places. Explore this world through senses other than sight and join Rei on her journey of discovery. Next up we have The Girl and the Robot by Flying Carpet Games. This is an interesting title with an apt title. It's about a girl and her robot. You take on the role of a young girl trying to escape a castle ruled by an evil queen. She soon comes across a robot that she can control with a magical pendant. But as time goes on, the robot seems to develop a mind of its own. The game could be amazing or it might not quite reach its mark, but be sure to keep an eye on this one. And then we've got Nevermind by Nevermind Team. The greatest enemy is the one inside your head. This adventure horror is one of the first biofeedback games that takes you into the dark and twisted world of the subconscious. Using a biofeedback sensor, it will check how stressed you become moment to moment. If you get too scared, the game becomes tougher. Can you stay calm in the face of terror? Keep an eye out if you dare. And next we've got Armicrog by Pencil Test Studios. Having another look at this game, a unique point-and-click adventure considered to be the spiritual successor to The Neverhood. The game follows Tommy Knot, a space explorer, and Beak Beak, his blind-talking dog, who crash land on a weird planet and ends up locked in a strange fortress called Armicrog. The game is animated totally in claymation, and that is reason enough to check out this one. Then we have Below by Capybara Games. Explore and discover what lies below in this game where you are a tiny warrior exploring the depths of a remote island. Prepare for brutal but fair combat with a tilt-shift perspective as you light your way through the dark. Making your way through this mysterious world is tough in this roguelike with randomly generated environments and permanent death. Next we have Tales from the Borderlands by Telltale Games. Based on the game Borderlands, this episodic game will continue to release through 2015. The story will revolve around the Vault Hunters, and although no one will call them heroes, they do have their own tales to tell. It will stick true to the Borderlands graphic style, but it will have a lot more talking and figuring things out, though there will still be shooting in some form. Check it out if you should follow this series all the way through. Finally, we have Game of Thrones, a game by Telltale Games. The other big release from Telltale, this game will be coming out in episodes and will continue through 2015, based on the TV series and the books of George R.R. Martin. If you're a fan of the series, then you'll definitely want to check this out. The TV series has been putting in things that the books don't cover, so maybe the game will include things that you can't find elsewhere too. Either way, if you get into this game, be prepared for not safe for work content. And before we go, an honorable mention, Grim Fandango Remastered by Double Fine Productions. I wouldn't normally include remasters in lists like this, but the game originally released in 1998, 17 years ago, and I think many missed out on it. Double Fine promises to ramp up the graphics and even hope to reach out to fans who've unofficially patched and modded the game to gain their help in remastering it. So if you missed out on it or you're looking to relive this one, now's your chance to get into this dark comedy neo-noir graphic 
geographical adventure. Now, most of these games should be releasing in 2015, but either way you should keep an eye on development to see if these games will tell a story of success or fall into some serious plot holes. Alright, that wraps up my top 10 PC adventure games to watch in 2015. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, drop me a like or share it with your friends. The support is always appreciated. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.